The some of our priorities are ensuring ecological stability of the state, enhancing the forest cover as well as improving the quality of the forests that we have and also to ensure the sustainability of livelihoods of uh, forest dependent population in the state. And our long term goal is also to provide uh, proofing against the climate change vulnerabilities that are predicted to happen across the globe. When we use drone, we obviously would be having a higher uh, resolution uh, imagery as well as uh, it can be operated at a frequency uh, more suitable to us. The number of uh, operations or the array of operations that we plan to have, uh, it depends on the demands from the field units as well as the planning requirement. See, if you see the topography of Himachal Pradesh, it is quite undulating, mountainous and inaccessible. So the long range, the endurance of the drones uh, matters a lot. A combination of uh, GIS and drones widens our scope of you know, uh, increasing the decision making tools that will be available to us. Combining drone data with our satellite data really sorts out these uh, challenges uh, in the shortest possible time. Uh, one thing that we are uh, really looking into is the deep learning uh, uh, module that uh, SRI has uh, been developing and providing to us. Uh, so with that we see a lots of uh, scope of expanding the result based or outcome of the geographical data analysis that would be done using the software as well as through the uh, drone imageries. Yeah, we really do look forward to the deep learning part which I had mentioned earlier. From mapping of vegetation, estimating biomass, habitat characterization, uh, forest protection related issues and uh, we can also maybe uh, have a partnership with Idea Forge and SRE and the forest department and we can also explore the possibility of you know the scope of you know, assessing carbon stock or uh, biomass assessment. That is one thing that we would uh, really like to look into in the future. We have to stall the search operations or tracing, tracing out operations uh, after sunset. But with these drones, uh, now we are also planning to uh, uh, deploy these drones for uh, you know, uh, tracing out the conflict animal and also to uh, track, uh, track the animals. Also, it will also be not only in man-animal conflict, it will also be useful in uh, wildlife ma uh, management. Yeah, the video motion uh, application uh, can be uh, of lo lots of importance and uh, we are aware that uh, the solution that has been provided to us uh, uh, has got this feature uh, uh, and we will be uh, developed in the near future so we plan to use it for uh, you know uh, detection uh, detection of forest offenses or the areas where forest offenses have occurred the routes and the uh, various paths taken by people in the forest so there can be lots of multiple type of uh, uh, application uh, we plan to use this uh, video motion platform feature of uh, ArcGIS Pro in the near future for uh, extracting uh, mapping related information and also different uh, aspects of uh, wildlife management and forest management the paths the roads uh, you know the fire uh, the fire incidences uh, so it has got immense applications uh, diverse type of applications uh, the plan was in place and uh, it just uh, maybe a couple of months we did not face much time uh, difficulties, our, our uh, personnel, they learnt it uh, too quick uh, thanks to the support provided both by Idea Forge and Esri that they could learn the things very well, uh, that too in very short uh, time. We combine our forestry and wildlife management skills with the skills of uh, you know, mapping and digital, uh, digital mapping using modern tools and technology, so it becomes a very uh, good combination it really boosts our uh, performance capabilities so that's why we thought of developing our own uh, capabilities rather than going for uh, you know outsourcing the services of mapping entirely to somebody else the local communities are most important so when we plan for managing a particular forest area or a landscape so we have to consider in the uh, local people, the other activities, their livelihoods, the other activities that are happening there because all these are interlinked with one another and they ultimately affect the quality of the forest and uh, wildlife in that particular area.